Nisha Baker and I'm going to show you how to get a beautiful romantic makeup look using Revlon Colorstay Makeup Foundation. So I'm going to go right in with my Toast Foundation color and I've got a bit of a breakout so I'm going to just kind of cover that up and what I like about Colorstay is that it's long lasting so I know that my makeup's not going to move during the day. So a great tip when doing your foundation is just to move really quickly with your brush. This allows an even coverage, but the nice thing about Colorstay is that the formula is quite smooth. If you make a mistake, you're gonna still get an even coverage, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I'm gonna go in and just move really quickly with my brush. Another great tip is to use a damp sponge just to spread the product and push it into the skin. This way you've got an even application with a smooth, glowy finish. So now that I've got my beautiful canvas, I'm going to go in with my Revlon 2-in-1 Compact. I'm going to use the foundation portion of the compact, a few shades darker than my skin to start contouring. So you just take this portion and you connect it to the corner of your mouth. And that line over there is the perfect line to accentuate your cheekbones. So I'm going to go in with my foundation and just kind of draw a line. So what's very important about the product is not to let it set. So I'm going to take my blending sponge and just kind of push the product in and make sure that it blends really well into my skin before it sets. I'm going to go in and do my nose contour. So what the nose contour does is it really balances out your nose and kind of gives you a nice sharp look. And then just kind of go in and blend from there. So the key to the temples is just to find the arch of your eyebrow, place the product outside of that and this will give you the appearance of a narrower and slimmer face. So now we're going to start with our highlighting. I'm using 200 Nude 2-in-1 Compact and I'm going to just make like a little triangle underneath my eye area to my cheekbone and then I'm going to go in with a concealer brush and just finish off the nose area. Now that I look like a tribal warrior, I'm going to blend in my highlight with my blending brush. So you just want to do light taps. This kind of takes longer than everything else because you want it to be perfect and you don't want it to look caked at all. And then I go in with my translucent powder and just set underneath my eyes. This is to make sure that my mascara doesn't sink onto my beautiful highlight and also just to set the highlights so that it doesn't move all over my face. So we're just using the Toast Press Powder to set the rest of the face, and then we're gonna go in and finish the look. So we're using Revlon Colorstay Palette in Decadent, and we're using color number one just to highlight the top of my cheekbones, the bridge of your nose, and your chin area and the Cupid's bow. And we're going to use shade number two with a flat brush and start coating the entire lid of your eye. So we're going to use a fluffy brush and go in with color number four and just kind of go in at the crease. You don't have to be heavy handed with this look because we're trying to achieve a romantic look. So it's quite natural, but we still want depth in the eyes and to create some kind of flirtiness to our romance and just go underneath the brow bone to highlight our brows and really finish off our eye look. So we're going to finish off our eyes using the Revlon Ultimate All-in-One Mascara. And what it does is it really defines your eyelashes, gives you volume, it's the ultimate intense color, lifts them ever so slightly. We're going to use our Oh Baby Pink Blush and the key with blush is just to kind of dust the product off and find the apples of your cheeks and just kind of work up. You want to look romantic, so slightly dust the product onto the apples of your cheeks. So we're going to use Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner in Sienna. So I like to line the full lip instead of using a lipstick. I feel like it lasts really long and especially with Revlon Color Stay, the product's not really going to move so you can drink coffee or do anything really. And there we go, I've completed the romantic look. I've really fallen in love with the glowy and natural effect of this look and I kind of feel ready for romance.